Let us try an example to check for the deflection of a beam. The beam is a rectangular continuous beam and it is interior span. The concrete grade is 25 and the span is 10 meter. The beam width is 300 and the depth is 600. The specified U strength of the reinforcement bar is 500. The AS required is 1250. It is provided with 2 3T25 with the cross sectional area of 1470. The question asks you to check for the span to depth ratio by using the equation given by Eurocode and also by LPD chart. To solve the first part of the question, you may refer to clause 7.4.2 of Eurocode for the two equations to check for the deflection. From the two equations, you need to decide which equations is to be used. First, you need to find your row and row node. The row is obtained from AS required divided by BD and it is obtained at 0.007. As for the row node, it's a function of compressive strength of the concrete, which is 0.005. By comparing these two numbers, you know that the row now is greater than row node. Therefore, the second equation will be used. In the second equations, there are rho prime and there are k. The rho prime is equal to zero when there is no AS required prime, which is meant for the compressive steel bar. As for k, you need to refer to table 7.4n. For the continuous beam interior span, the k is equal to 1.5. Substitute all the relevant value inside, you will obtain the L per D limit is equal to 27.7. Next, we look into the modification factors. The span is 10 mm, which is more than 7 meter and the provided AS is not the same as pro AS required therefore because of these two there will be modification factors applied the calculated L per D ratio is to be modified with a factor for the two state considerations therefore it is multiplied with 7 divided by 10 and the minimum of L1470 divided by 1250 and 1.5. You will get the L per D limit 22.8. Next, you will check the actual L per D ratio. It is obtained by dividing the 10 meter with 600 mm depth you will get the ratio of 16.7. Compare these two value. The actual L per D ratio is less than the limit. Therefore, the deflection is considered acceptable. Next, for the second part, to check the L per D ratio by obtaining from the chart. The same step apply. Get the row which is equal to 0.007 or 0.7%. From table 7.4n, you get k equals to 1.5. From the L per D chart, you draw a line starting from 0.7 upward, touching the line of 25 concrete grade, and then the line go horizontal, to touch on the y axis around 16 L per D. To be precise, the
the L per D ratio should be 16 something or about 17. Since that it is very difficult to precisely determine what is the exact value, you can always go for a more conservative number, which is the smaller value. In this case, let's say we obtain it as 16. Then we go for the modification factor, which we had discussed just now. The limiting L per D ratio, it will be 16 times 1.5 times the 2 modification factor. And the limiting L per D ratio will be 19.8. And the actual ratio is 16.7. The actual L per D ratio is less than the limiting L per D ratio. Therefore, the deflection is acceptable. Bear in mind that, theoretically, the equations and the L per D chart should give you the same value of L per D limit. However, because of the challenge of getting the exact value from the chart, we normally go for a more conservative value for the L per D ratio. When the conservative value of L per D ratio is passed, then you have no worry of having the L per D limit to be failed in the equation.